Welcome to this session on creating a workspace standard textile. So in this session, I will create a standard textile for the company workspace. I'm going to use the XYZ workspace, the company workspace that was set up in the previous course, BIM Management 301 Installation and Upgrade Guide. And so this is a workspace that has been configured through the custom configuration to be on the network. So I am going to select that workspace, the XYZ workspace, or whatever your, your company workspace is. And then I'm going to set my project to the, the project template US. Since we're saving this in the workspace, that's not critical. And I'm going to start by creating a new file. So things like text styles, dimension styles, they are stored in DGN libraries. This is essentially a DGN file but it has an extension, DGN Live, and so therefore the, the work set will use it as a library for such things as, as display styles, text styles, dimension styles. So we're going to create that new DGN library. So I'm going to select the new file icon. And note by default, that's going to open in the P drive to the project template US, my current work set in the designs folder. But I'm going to actually create this DGN library in my company workspace so that it's available for all the work sets within that workspace. So I'm going to scroll back up to my W drive. Here's my CE configuration folder and we want to go to the workspaces folder and I'm going to select my XYZ workspace and then I'm going to open up the standards folder. And within that is a DGN Lib folder. And I'm going to open the DGN Lib folder. It's currently empty, but we're going to create our first DGN Lib here. So I'm going to name this as Text Dim Styles. Now that part of the name is important. It must start with that bit of text so that it is recognized as a library of text and dimension styles. And then I'm going to use the underbar, and then you can put whatever you want to identify it as your company workspace standard. I'm just going to use the initials XYZ. And then we're going to give this a .dgn lib extension. Again, that, that makes the software recognize it as a DGN library. And we'll simply say save. And that's going to open that file up. And then in this DGN lib, I can create any number of text styles or dimension styles, and they will then be available in all my files within this uh, workspace. And if you look at your Explorer tab, which I have docked here on the left, there is a resource tab, and that will let you um, find all your available uh, styles, such as text styles and dimension styles. So if I want to create a new text style, I could just open the, the text style dialog from the main ribbon. I can also open it here from the resource tab by simply right clicking and selecting manage. And so I have two styles in there now, drawing notes and drawing title. Those are styles that are delivered with building designer. And I'm going to simply copy those and create two company standard drawing notes and drawing title. So I'll select the first one here, drawing notes. I'll select copy. It's going to make me a copy. And then I'm going to rename it as XYZ underbar drawing notes. And then I could change any of the settings here. So for instance, if we want to use a different font, I simply select that. If I want my default justification to be something different, I could change that. I could change the size of the text here. And when you define the height and width of text, you're defining the height and width that you would like it to plot at. So in other words, when it's plotted, if it needs to be an eighth inch high or a tenth inch high, that's what you're defining here. Annotation scale will take care of scaling it properly 
for the drawing regardless of the scale. So I might make this 1 8 or perhaps 3 millimeters if you're working in millimeters. I could create other settings such as giving the text a default color so that it always came in with the, the same color. Um, we could make it bold, italic, uh, all of these are, are again default. They could be modified when the text is placed, but these would be the defaults when you select this particular text style. We can control the spacing of the text, the line spacing. We could underline or overline the text. We could put a background on the text. This can be useful if you want to mask line work that is behind the text. You can use a background mask and you simply make it the background color and that will then mask anything, any line work that's behind the text. And then you would want to do the same for the background. So this is the fill, and then you would want to do the same for the, the background border and make that also the background color. And you could give it a little bit of a margin if you like. I want to turn the border back on so you can see what that margin is. So we can see how that space is around there, and then we could make that the background color. So we don't actually see it, it'll just become a mask on the drawing itself. And I'm going to go ahead and save that style, and then I'll use the, the drawing title, and I'm going to copy that. And again, I'm just going to put the company initials in front. and select the font that I want to use and maybe on the drawing title I'll use a, a left bottom justification quarter inch height maybe in that case we want to go bold so you go ahead and, and set the, the text up per your standards and then select save. And we can see these are now listed here in our resources and those could be selected and used. And because they're being set up in this library, they're going to be available in all files. We could do the same with dimension styles. And so we could use some of these delivered styles and copy them and then make modifications to them. Just going to save those settings. I'm actually going to exit building designer. So you actually need to exit and reopen in order to pick up the new DGN line. And this time I will simply browse and in my project template, I'll open up this empty.dgn and we'll see that, that those textiles will now be available. So again, if I look at my resource tab, I can see the styles are there. If I would use the place text tool, I can see I can select that title and I could go ahead and place text and it would be using all the settings. You can see the, the font there and the, the bold text that I set up. So that's how you set up your own text and dimension styles to create a company standard. In the next session, we'll do something similar and create a custom display style for our drawings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.